Hello YouTube, Skeletron1988. Today we'll be taking a look at Power Angels Evil Space Aliens. Um, I'm not really doing them series by series, I'm doing them by what I have so far and what names I remember. Um, I'll be reviewing one, two, three, four, five of them today. And first of all, we'll start off with Pudgy Pig. Uh, Pudgy Pig, he a typical evil space alien. He's pretty small. Um, his arms will rotate 360 right here, so his hands, uh, both same side here too. Come on, there we go. Little, my joints are really tough on this guy. Um, his legs, 360. He also has this motion where you, his Roman helmet, you do that, and his little, little pig snout will go up. I am Pudgy Pig. And, uh, Cuter Sentai Jew Ranger, he was called, uh, Dora Pig. Because, you know, let's make it easy. Uh, but yeah, he looks, he looks pretty good. He's pretty, actually, he looks, you know, good, very show accurate. I mean, especially for a 93 kids toy. He's, he's, he's a villain. He's a very good villain. They, I wish they'd make good villains nowadays. Like they did with MMPR 93. But he comes with, uh, I don't know if there's more. When I get them, I only got three of these. But, um, they're little, little cardboard pieces that he eats. I have a piece of pizza, a uh, hamburger, and bananas. Pigs love bananas. And what you can do is, it's a Roman home, you can open it, and it, the back right there, see his mouth, so he can eat all the food, because in the series he'd eat all the food, and I think they're having a party, or something lame like that, the old show is pretty lame, so, I uh, can also, and then you open up his helmet in the back there, and yep, there you go, you can take him out. Um, size comparison, here he is next to the original Automorphin Red Ranger. And then next to the MMPR 2010 Red Ranger. Um, I actually think he goes a lot better with the 2010 Red Ranger. So if you want some extra villains to actually play with these guys, uh, Pudgy Pig will be really good to have. We'll set him aside here. You can take a look at him. He'll be a nice model for the rest of the villains. Uh, second of all, we'll take a look at the Grumble Bee. Grumble Bee has wings on the back here. His eyes, they move 360. So it's the side. His feelers, pretty good movement. I feel like they're really, really flimsy, though. I don't really want to try to turn them because I'm afraid they'll rip. Um, his gimmick is that if you press this trigger in the back here, he'll shoot. It'll sting you. His legs move 360, as you can see. Ugh. Same side here. His arms are hindered, though, by the wings. His back. So, if you want to move him, you have to do this, and his legs are also kind of getting in the way. You have to finagle with his hands. So, yeah. He comes with a honeycomb blaster, because I guess that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be... He looks really... Actually, he doesn't have any eyes. That's the problem. I mean, I mean, I guess that's his eyes. They could have done a little more detail on his eyes, I feel. Otherwise... Size comparison, here he is next to Red, 2010 Red. And actually, an Automorph and Original Red. And here's 2010 Red. So he actually goes a lot better with the 2010 Red than the Automorph one. So I think he'd also be a good one if you're planning on playing with these guys. You want some extra films instead of just the putty patrollers and the gold arc. can't really move his damn arms. Put him to the side. Next, we're going to look at RoboGoat. Comes with a staff and a nice shield. And all these, how you connect these, they have these little pegs on the side, as you can see. They go into his hand, so sometimes they have a really hard time staying in there. And his gimmick is that he can do this. I'm so super happy! Hey, I'm the Rebel Goat! His legs move 360. His hands move 360 as well, but the problem is that it has the click there, so then it really hinders his gay gimmick that you do with his tail. His tail can also move 360, but it's really hard, so I prefer to have it down like that. See, and his horns, I think, they, they can, I think they, yeah, they're not supposed to come up, but they look like they could, they're really brittle. So yeah, his head also has 360 degree articulation. And a little, little beard that, uh, coming off. Okay. But how you put these on is you attach them with the pegs there. They really, sometimes they just really don't want to stay in. Especially for my figure. 
Sam, I don't really get the staff. I don't, I don't think he had on the show. I'd have to watch it again. But yeah, I don't recall the staff. So I'll put that in his hand. <clears throat> See, here's my problem. Is, there's also his hand in the 360. My stupid staff will not stay in his hand for the life of him. There we go. Okay. One of the problems with displaying him is you really have to kind of figure out what you want to do. I mean, how you want him. I mean, I would like to have that, but it turns out we pretty much have to just display him like this where his head's up. And, eh, I don't really like that. But here he is next to Empire 2010 Red. Yeah, I keep mixing them up. I apologize. Automorphin Red, and here is 2010 Red. He looks a lot better with the Automorphin series, in all honesty. So I'd stick with him for Automorphin if I was going to play with him. From the back. Next we have Ritu Revolto, my favorite. He's actually pretty hard to get a hold of now. I'm surprised. I found him on eBay. I think I got him along with... No, I think no, I got him by himself. No, I got him with a Goldar. Yeah, I got him with a Goldar. Uh, yep, so he comes with a gun. Do not get the gun. They probably just could have made the sword, but they decided to make a gun. So this comes with a flamethrower. This was in the show, which is nice. And if you press the back, it shoots. See, and it actually comes off. This can come off this, and you can actually take his, his flamethrower pack off here. See, he actually looks really, really nice. He's got a skull, shoulder there, skull there. The, paint, the painting on his army side here is actually really good, except I think this is a little too plain, the white. They could have at least put some gray in there. Uh, also, the skulls here. So, yeah, his leg articulation, 360. 360. His arms are hindered, though, because that damn thing. So, his arm, you know, now can't really move because of his back shoulder pads. And I like his skull. You have the back there, his skull there. So, you can just turn him around and be like, Ugh, Halloween. So, yeah. But you can just peg in his gun here in this hand. Once again, I really do wish they made his sword from I don't know why they could have made his sword. So, we can just stick his gun pack in there. Stick his arm right back there and shove it in there. There we go. Ooh. I can't really see his face. Um, here he is next to two, next to MMPR 93 Automorphin Red and 2010 Red. So, yeah, Pico is a lot better with the Automorphin than the 2010. Just looks like a giant freak with the 2010 one. Put him to the side, hang out with the Robo Goat. And finally, we have our Putty Patroller. Uh, he comes with Axe, Mace, Arms, 360, Legs as well, Head, 360. Uh, he stands like he can't really get him to stand really straight up. It's pretty hindered to stand just like this. Mace, Mace fits in either hand. Axe, so it doesn't really matter which side. You do that on. I'm going to quickly compare him before I do his little gimmick. Uh, here he is next to 293 um, Automorphin Red in 2010. Oh, so, yeah, he goes a lot better with um, 93 Red than he does with 2010. Plus, you can just get putties for the, nine, for the 2010 series, anyways. And his gimmick is that if, just like in the show, if you press the Z, he comes apart. So yeah, yeah, this one of the arms just went in my sink. All right, so there's him. See, so yeah, I actually, uh, I recommend him. I have two of these guys. I think I won the other one in eBay auction too. So I recommend these villains if you're pretty much a Paul Rangers completist. Otherwise, just stick with the Zords and uh, the regular Ranger figures. These are, I mean, they're really cool. Uh, they do bring back a lot of memories for me. That's pretty much why I got them. I don't ever recall really having. Um, most of these. I, I don't think I really had any villains. And I'll see Lord Zed. I'll do a review of him later. But yeah, I solely recommend him, him for 2010 line. Robogoat, Rito, and Putty if you just want something to do with the Automorphin line. Otherwise, I think they're great in general. Thanks.